This is the setup guide for the AllSport Systems flight panel. Begin routing the power supply cables through the center hole in the back of the flight panel. The power supply for the USB hub can easily be identified as different from the others. Be careful when maneuvering around any wiring. Next, route the two power supply cables for the flight panel screens through the center hole and into the screens. Here you can see the most common digital video ports found on PC graphics cards. While you may only have one or two HDMI ports on your graphics card available, adapter cables can be easily used without any issues. The HDMI cables from your TVs or monitors should plug directly into your graphics card. Adapter cables may be used if needed. On the rear of the flight panel, plug in the remaining HDMI and USB cables into the HDMI and USB ports. Connect the HDMI cables from the flight panel to your PC using two USB 3.0 to HDMI adapters. Alternatively, the flight panel screens can also be plugged into any remaining video ports on the graphics card, as long as the graphics card is capable of driving more than three displays. Check your graphics card specifications for this information. Plug the remaining USB cable from the back of your flight panel into a USB port on your PC. Once you've plugged everything in and ensured that all of your displays are turned on, you can start Windows. On your desktop, go to the Start menu and select Settings. In Settings, select System, and here we will arrange and orient your displays correctly. Select Identify to show what number Windows has labeled your screens. Windows cannot detect the left to right order of your plugged in displays. You will need to click and drag the display boxes in settings to match the layout of screens on your desk. The two smaller screens to the right represent the flight panel screens. Make sure that they are also in the correct left to right order as they appear when clicking Identify in Windows settings. Windows will need to rotate the vertical screen in your flight panel to display correctly. Select the screen. Scroll down to the Display Orientation setting and select Portrait Flipped. Click Identify and check that all of your screens match the orientation and order shown in settings. Be sure all of your displays are turned on and plugged in when booting into Windows, since Windows will reassign display numbering if it no longer detects a display. Now that your screens are all set up, you can begin using your flight panel. For any additional information, please visit us at allsportsystems.com.